economic growth weakens or uh, when it is uh, when it is in a recess a recession a government can enact an expansionary fiscal policy for example by raising the expenditure without an offsetting increase in taxation okay what does it say as the economic growth weakens or when it is in recession a government can enact an exp uh, okay all right so whenever the government will observe that the inflation has risen to a certain limit and the economic acti activity is weakening day by day it is recessing so in that case the government will start raising the expenditure the government will start increasing the taxes okay and this is done by the implementation of fiscal policy so conversely by reducing the expenditure and maintaining the tax revenue a contractionary policy might reduce economic activity this is not a practical thing but we can explain it that if the expenditure will be reduced and the taxes will be decreased however we know that it will it doesn't happen practically the taxes start uh, increasing in ev by every passing year okay it may become uh, smooth or stagnant but it never happened that taxes will start decreasing so in that case another a contractionary policy might reduce the economic activity fiscal policy can therefore play an important role in stabilizing an economy okay so because the fiscal policy is related to taxes so of course whenever the inflation will be uh, observed or inflation rate will be increased so in that case the fiscal policy uh, will uh, stabilize the economy of the country although both fiscal and monetary policy can alter the aggregate demand they work through different channels the policies are therefore not interchangeable and they conceivably can work against one another unless the government and the central bank coordinate their objective okay now so now it's clear to us that both of the policies they work through different channels one is working through central bank and the other is working through the government okay both the policies are not non interchangeable and they work on their own tasks read that both of the policies are non interchangeable and both of the channels they are working in their own track in order to uh, let the policies work smooth and secondly sometimes they can start working against one another according to their rules regulations like the interest rates and the taxation sometimes uh, in a, they uh, may uh, start working against one another so for that purpose government and the central banks they must work in coordination with one another because indirectly or directly the economy of the country will be impacted badly when both of uh, these organizations the government and the central bank they start working in independently from one another okay central banks typically have used monetary policy to either stimulate an economy or to check its growth by incentivizing individuals and businesses to borrow and spend the monetary policy aims to spur the economic activity conversely by restricting the spending and incentivizing the savings monetary policy can act as a brake on inflation and other issues associated with an overheated economy okay so monetary policy is a direct tool it is used to influence or stimulate the economy or sometimes when the economy is growing smoothly it is used to check the growth okay for example by incentivizing the individuals and businesses to borrow and spend the money the means when the central banks they are encouraging the businesses to borrow the money and spend on their businesses in this way the monetary policy is uh, ma motivating or manipulating the economic activity however if the central banks restrict the spending and borrowing uh, uh, activity basically the monetary policy or the central banks are putting a brake on inflation okay so it means that the uh, central banks are able to control the inflation in any country the federal reserve also known as the fed frequently had has used three different policy tools to influence the economy number 1 is open market operations changing the reserve requirements for banks and setting the discount rate discount rate open market operations are carried out on daily basis when the fed 
Fed means Federal Reserve and buys and sells U.S. government bonds to either inject money into the economy or pull money out of the circulation. Okay, so one of the three main operations in which the economy can be influenced is open market operations. In open market operations, the banks uh, the changing the reserve requirements for the banks and setting the discount rate. These two things are done by the central banks. Means the central bank will change, will mm -hmm. set the discount rate by themselves. The central banks will also change the reserve requirements of the bank. Okay. So due to this operation, the open market operation, when it is done on daily basis, the Federal Reserve buys and sells the US government bonds. Okay, so uh, what is the purpose of uh, buying and selling the U.S. government bonds? Uh, sorry, what is the purpose of buying and selling the bonds to the U.S. government? And because in this way, the Fed means the Federal Reserve is either injecting the money by selling the bond. Okay, by selling the bond, the Federal Government is injecting the money. And by buying the bond, the Federal Government is pulling the money out of the circulation. Okay, so Federal Reserve Banks or the central banks will uh, come into action. They will buy or sell the bond to the government. Here we are talking about the U.S. government. So in this way, uh, they will inject the money or either they will take out the money from the circulation. And this operation involves two main things, changing the reserve requirements for banks and the setting the discount rate. The second method is by setting the reserve ratio or percentage of deposits that banks are required to keep in reserve. Okay, by setting the reserve ratio or the percentage of deposits. Now, the other method involves again two things setting the reserve ratio and uh, or, or the percentage of deposits that the bank are required to keep in reserve. The Federal Reserve directly influence the amount of money created when the banks make loans okay so this is another smart move done by the central banks or the federal reserve in this way the federal reserve is deciding that up till which limit or up to which limit the banks can keep the money in reserve okay so by setting the reserve ratio the federal uh, reserve is directly influence the amount of money created when the banks will start making loans. The Federal Reserve also can target the changes in discount rate, the interest rate it charges on loans it makes to financial institutions, which is intended to impact short-term interest rates across the entire economy. Okay, so the third method is the Federal Reserve will also target the changes in the discount rate, that is interest rate, Discover what is discount rate here? The interest rate it charges on the loans that it makes to the financial institutions. Okay, so three things the open market operations by setting up the reserve ratio, by setting the um, or by doing the um, changes in discount rate. Okay, so these three things by doing these three things, the uh, economy of any country can be influenced or improved. Monetary policy is more of a blunt tool in terms of spending, uh, expanding and contracting the money supply to increase the inflation and growth. And it has less impact on the real economy. Okay, so we have just uh, studied that how the monetary policy is uh, uh, controlling the inflation. Okay, the central banks will directly inject in the money or spend the money by selling the bonds to the government. While the monetary, uh, sorry, the central bank will also keep a control on the inflation by buying the bonds from the government. Okay, so therefore, the monetary policy is a blunt tool. It can either expand or contract the money supply depending upon the requirement. For example, the Federal Reserve was aggressive during the Great Depression. It its actions prevented the deflation and economic uh, economic collapse but did not generate significant economic growth to reserve the lost output and jobs 
Okay, here it, uh, an example is quoted over here that how the Federal Reserve uh, controlled the inflation rate during the time of Great Depression. It is the um, uh, uh, period, uh, or you can say, it was a time when U.S. undergone through a uh, very weakened economic growth. Okay, so in that time. The Federal Reserve they can come into action, came into action and it controlled the economic status of the country. It controlled the inflation rate, higher inflation rate, but did not generate the significant economic growth which is other. Oh, yes, it is another important thing that we should understand that because the monetary policy is controlling the higher inflation rate. It is not mandatory that it will generate the significant economic growth. Maybe it will just control the economic rate, and uh, after that, it will just stabilize the economy. It may not improve the economic growth. Okay, expansionary monetary policy can have limited effects on growth by increasing the set prices and lowering the cost of the borrowing and making companies more profitable. Now, how the companies will become more profitable? They will become more profitable because the cost of borrowing means the additional money that the institutions have to uh, give back to the banks has been lowered. Okay, so now they can focus on their work, their efficiency, their scheme of or pattern of work instead of uh, getting uh, bothered about the uh, borrowing money, the borrowing cost, and uh, all the other related things. Monetary policy seeks to spark economic activity, while the fiscal policy seeks to address either total spending, the total composition of spending, or both. Okay, so what does it mean? That monetary policy basically affects the economic activity. It will affect the economic status of the country, while the fiscal policy will focus only on the spending and taxation all right it will control the economic status of any country by focusing on the taxation and spending now comes the fiscal policy fiscal policy generally speaking the aim of most government fiscal policies is to target the total level of spending the total composition of spending or both Spending, the composition of spending, the level of spending. So let us first see what is meant by both of these terminologies. The level of spending means that up to which level any company is spending the money on their business means are they producing a premium quality product, are they producing uh, and by those premium quality products, I mean those products that though that can be exported to other countries. Okay, so let us uh, redefine the, uh, this thing in this way: that the level of spending means are they producing those products that can be exported to other countries? Are they uh, producing those products that are that can be used on the national level, or these are just locally used products? Okay, because these. The nature of these kinds of products will decide at how much money or to which level the money will be utilized. Now, the second terminology is composition of spending. Okay, composition of spending means the nature of the products on which the institutions are going to spend money. That is composition of spending, it means whether the industries, the organizations, the companies they are spending the money on raw material raw products or they are spending the money on purchasing the full fledged form of the products that can be used upon opening okay or some or something else okay so basically the level of spending is the uh, amount of expenditure the true expenditure that will be done on uh, and depending upon the nature of the product whether it the product will be exported to other country whether it will be used on national level or whether it will be used Locally, uh, I mean, normally, and the composition of spending means that whether the raw products are going to be purchased by the institution, whether the full form of the product will be uh, purchased by the um, companies, and they will just customize it a little bit and then start reselling it.
okay or sometimes both of these things composition of spending and level of spending will be uh, focused by the fiscal policy implementation of fiscal policy the two most widely used means of affecting fiscal policy are changes in government spending policies or in government tax policy because fiscal policy has something to do with taxation and spending so therefore both kinds of spending will be discussed by the uh, government if a government believes that there is not enough business activity in an economy it can increase the amount of money it spends often referred to as stimulus spending okay so what is stimulus spending stimulus spending means when the economy of any country economy of any government is smooth and it does not require any uh, change or any uh, upgradation okay the economy is running smoothly everything is going smoothly in any country so the government will increase its uh, spending the government will start purchasing more products the government will start uh, utilizing that money for building up the infra infrastructure of the country okay so this is known as stimulus spending if there are not enough tax receipt to pay for the spending increases the government borrow the money by issuing the debt securities such as government bonds and in the process accumulate debt this is referred to as deficit spending okay so when the economy is smooth the government will start spending the money and you start utilizing the money okay Uh, and there will be two benefits the one benefit is the economy will grow more strongly than before uh, the government will start producing more business opportunities for the citizens of the country and thirdly third the most important thing is uh, of course that money that is present uh, in the central banks that will be utilized and that will be utilized to produce more profit as well while the deficit spending means that there are not enough tax receipts to pay okay and the country is going through a tough time the country or the government needs to borrow the money for its smooth functioning okay so this is known as deficit spending the government will start spending the money in the form of bonds i don't know if you are familiar uh, with it or not but uh, price bonds cash bonds lucky draws these kinds of things are usually introduced among the citizens whenever the government is going through uh, the time of inflation or a tough time in, uh, regarding their economy so instead of spending the money on the businesses or spending the money on building infrastructure the government will start spending the money in the form of uh, debt securities like the bonds like the uh, price bonds the cash bonds the lucky draws and all the things like that okay so this is known as deficit deficit spending something that has been done in order to save the country from uh, going bankrupt okay in comparing the two now the two means the monetary and the fiscal policy okay the fiscal policy generally has greater impact on the consumers than the monetary policy as it can lead to increased employment and income okay so why the fiscal policy is more important because the fiscal policy in both the cases whether the government is doing deficit spending or whether the government is doing uh, stimulus spending the fiscal policy is introducing the job opportunities the employments or the ways of earning uh, for the citizens of that country okay so it is more important it has greater impact on consumers by increasing the taxes the governments pull money out of the economy and slow business activity Uh, ma'am, sorry to interrupt you in the middle. My question is that it's uh, like physically, generally, like uh, fiscal policy, like generally increases the job efficiency. Yes, everything like, is really that. Because, yes, because ma'am, in their meaning, like says is like for the you know, control by the governments, like the taxation. That's what I was telling. Mm hmm. Yes, exactly. You are right. Because it is related to taxes, so of course, indirectly or directly, uh, it is increasing uh, the job opportunities. so uh, by increasing the taxes the government is pulling money out of the economy okay and by pulling the money out of the economy means that business activities are getting slower in the country because now not only the businessmen 
but also the consumers or users of that business are also going to pay extra okay so that is why business activity will be slowed down the government because the government has increased the taxes so typically the fiscal policy is used when the government seeks to stimulate the economy it might lower the taxes or offer tax rebates in an effort to encourage economic growth influencing economic outcomes why fiscal policy is one of the core tenets of the keynesian keynesian economics okay so by increasing the taxes means the government is taking the money out of the out of the people's business okay now there are two chances either the business activity will be slowed or slowed down uh, okay why because of course not only the businessmen the consumers will also uh, they will be going to pay extra money for their products why what the government is thinking the government is thinking that by motivating the people to pay the taxes uh, by um, uh, motivating them to take their part in stabilizing the economy of the country they are actually making the country stable making the government stable but indirectly the citizens of that country are suffering okay so in one case the fiscal policy uh, when implemented by the government and the taxes are increased then of course there will be a disturbance or distortion in the business activity but when the government is stimulating the money in that case it it will happen only when the government will lower the taxes okay when the government will lower the taxes or the uh, government is offering the tax rebates only then the economic activity of uh, the country is stimulated by the government so influencing the okay now the keynesian economics means the economics of this country actually uh, got better by the implementation of fiscal policy now how the economy will get better of course the government must have either lowered the taxes to uh, uh, make the economy better than before or eat or the other way can be their merchants uh, cooperated with the government and they paid their taxes uh, well enough and they didn't maybe they didn't uh, put the extra money Uh, upon their uh, consumers or the customers okay they themselves paid the complete taxes so of course only then uh, it would be possible that the economy of the country will get better so the keynesian economics uh, actually got better by the implementation of fiscal policy when a government spends money or changes the tax policy it must choose where to spend or what to do in doing so government fiscal policy can target specific communities industries investments and commodities to either favor or discourage their production sometimes its actions are based on considerations that are not entirely economic for this reason fiscal policy often is hotly debated among economists and political observers okay so like the monetary policy that has some limits of course the fiscal policy has a lot uh we cannot say that there some limits but sometimes it it becomes a confusing thing okay confusing thing means whenever the government start spending the money whether it is deficit whether it is stimulus or uh, whether the government is going to change the tax policy it is always a confusing thing that people are paying the taxes the citizens are paying the taxes but where the money of these taxes are going where this money is being spent by the government okay so that is why the fiscal policy always remains a hot topic or you can say a thing a matter to be discussed among the uh, people of that country okay so when everything will be clear of course it will be least discussed among the citizens but the things are unclear of course it will be a, a thing a subject to be discussed fiscal policy is a crucial part of american economics both executive and legislative branches of the government determine fiscal policy and use it to influence the economy by adjusting the revenue and spending levels okay so now we are discussing about the american economics fiscal policy 
has always been an important or you can say integral part of american economics or really do remember all the countries that know how to deal with the taxes how to do the proper taxation they are actually uh, these governments are actually able enough to implement the fiscal policies in the right way in the right manner okay they um, make this thing clear to their uh, citizens that where their money is going where where the government is spending their money and how their uh, money in the form of taxes can be fruitful for the government as well impact of fiscal policy public and private companies experience direct effects of an economy's fiscal policy whether in the form of spending or taxation fiscal policy can have the following effects on your small business okay now let us understand what kind of uh, impacts can uh, be done by the fiscal policy investment opportunities because as we have discussed earlier it is something that is related to increase in job efficiency or uh, employment uh, opportunities so of course investment opportunities is one of the main thing businesses will see more investment opportunities related to the government spending this commonly occurs uh, occurs during an expansionary fiscal policy where more money is flowing into the economy from the government and from other sources since taxation is also low when a balance between the price and demand is met then companies can expect to thrive and grow okay so how the businesses can see uh, more opportunities first we have studied that by the implementation of fiscal policies it means that uh, if the stimulus spending is done it means that job opportunities have been provided to the people but even if the deficit uh, uh, spending has been done in the form of bonds or the uh, draws even then the job opportunities have been created not the job opportunities directly but a way of earning ways of earning money have been introduced by the government okay so therefore uh, the fiscal policies play direct role in creating the job opportunities by the implementation of fiscal policies by uh, introducing the taxation and spending uh, rules and regulations by lowering the taxes actually the government is uh, the money is flowing from the institutions to the government whether the taxes are lowered whether the taxes are higher in both the cases the uh, money is flowing from the institutions to the government and if the government is spending the money in a right way it will be creating the job opportunities for the citizens but if the government is not doing the fair things of course then we cannot say uh, this thing with surety that job opportunities are created by the government okay a contractionary fiscal policy may kick in to prevent the inflation when a balance is broken and demand and prices falls okay what is contraction contractionary fiscal policy okay contractionary uh, contractionary fiscal policy means that government will reduce the spending and increases the taxes okay all right so this is contractionary a contractionary fiscal policy and expansionary fis uh, fiscal policy means the taxes are reduced and the spending has been increased so both of these fiscal policies are opposite to each other so contractionary as the name indicates the uh, spending is reduced and the taxes are increased so of course when the taxes are increased it is a way of uh, to take in not to take in but to prevent the inflation okay because the taxes have been increased the spending is reduced but on one side when the government is uh, trying to reduce the inflation on the other side the citizens of the country they are facing many economic challenges how because they they will be paying more money for the product they will be paying more money than before businesses typically rein in their growth due to rising taxes and take measures to stay in the black with less money flowing to their pockets yes this is another uh, negative aspect of con contractionary fiscal policy so whenever the taxes have been increased the business the businesses start taking the you know shorter track the shorter way to their destination they start 
keeping the money in their accounts, the black money in their accounts. Okay, so due to that, of course, lesser money will flow from their businesses to the governments. And as a result of which, a lot of corruption will start in the country. Okay, and of course, by one means or the other, that corruption will result in slower growth of economy of that. So on one hand, the government is taking measures to increase the economy, but these measures usually end up in slowing the growth of economy. Taxation changes. Depending on your company's location, your business will face several levels of taxation including local, state, and federal, okay? So these are the three levels of taxation. Consider how your state and local government taxes, uh, uh, taxes your company and how it interweaves with federal and fiscal policy, okay? So this is just a way of understanding that if we want to understand the levels of taxation, we can take example of our business. At uh, whether we are doing business locally, on state level or on federal level. Usually the federal level uh, businesses, they are equivalent equivalent to multinational businesses. The state level means the national level businesses or sometimes a little bit lower and the local uh, businesses are usually owned by one individual or two and they are locally present in a little area of a city. Okay, so we can consider that if we are owner of any business, so we can uh, well understand that at which level of taxation our business stands and how much amount we will be paying in the form of taxes depending upon the state of our, uh, uh, depending upon the level of our business, whether it's local business, the state level business, and the federal.